Happy Sunday, everybody, and happy Father's Day. I'm here with a living rock star today. He's a basketball player, a baseball player, and now a lead singer of a band with two number one singles. I have Rick De Jesus of Adelita's Way, and he's gonna he's here today to share his story and kind of inspire you guys to go out there and uh, go for your dreams and shoot for your goals. So, Rick, go ahead and take it away, my friend. Hey, hi guys. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm happy to be here. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, you know, I was born and raised in, in Philadelphia, uh, which you know, a suburb of Philadelphia, where where a lot of my friends were. Um, at early on age, very young, hooked on drinking, drugs, narcotics. And, and uh, you know, uh, Philadelphia, where I grew up, was a bit of a, uh, it felt a bit hopeless, right? It felt like dreams were shattered. Um, and, and I had so many of my friends, uh, you know, even from just such young age, get addicted to, to drugs that, that it, it almost, it made me so sad that it motivated me almost, right? I mean, it, it made me want to want to be a different tale. It made me want to change the course of what everyone thought of our area. You know, you, when you used to name where I came from in Bristol, everyone always said, oh, you know, that's where uh, all, all the kids who do, you know, heroin live. Or It was just a very bad, and, and I have a brother who's, who's a heroin addict. I have a, another brother who's addicted to narcotics. So... Um, I, I come from just a really small town that, that, you know, dreams are not made there. So, but the, the, the cool part of that is, um, I come from just this town no one has ever heard of and through hard work, determination, goals, um, really, really not being deterred when things don't go my way, uh, through just a lot of persistence and, and, uh, almost, uh, the ability to not let being knocked down take me out of the game. Uh, I, I've I've accumulated, like you said, two number one hits, over 160 million streams independently on my own record label. Um, you know, millions of fans. We played thousands of shows. I've gotten the tour of the world. Uh, I've been to Switzerland, Germany, Italy, uh, the United Kingdom, Canada. I mean, you name it. You, Scotland, uh, Ireland. I played. You know, rock and roll has brought me uh, to see the whole world and. You know, I'm just a kid from a small town, man. I'm, I'm, I'm from the suburbs of Philadelphia. And, uh, you know, I want my story to inspire other artists because there was also a point where um, in, in 2013, the record industry was changing dramatically. Uh, I believed in uh, the fans. I believed in our band. And, and I decided to part ways with our record label, our management, and kind of create my own record label and try to create a system for, for artists because uh, artists can be damaged, right? Artists can be put in a position where when people are done with you, they throw you away. So uh, it's easy for people to try to make you feel like a throwaway. And if you, if you uh, let yourself fall into what they believe, you can easily become that. But if you stay uh, uh, focused, if you continue to work hard, if you continue to set your goals and your dreams, you can also power through them. So in 2013, I left Capitol Records. Uh, usually when this happens, uh, uh, artists kind of fall to the wayside and, and you never really hear from them again. But we were determined to create a story for any young artists out there, anybody that wants to pick a guitar up, anybody that wants to be a singer or a drummer, that uh, if you work hard and, and you believe in yourself, anything is possible. So independently, um, we've just accomplished uh, you, you can look at the numbers in the data. We've created a mil We went from 120,000 listeners on Spotify to 1.1 million. Um, we've accumulated, like I said, 160 million streams on Spotify independently. Um, and, and we've done that just through breaking down the walls, breaking down the barriers, not letting any one moment in our life define us or, or, or break us. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for sharing. And to all these, everyone that's watching this, just know that we've, we've all faced adversities. We have transplants, we have things we have to do, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna hold us back from getting to where we wanna go. Rick is an amazing example of hard work and dedication and what you can really do and the life that you can live if you, if you stick to it and you, and you push through. Uh, and there, you are as well, you are as well. And, and you know, for, for uh, you, you know, the transplant is almost like a, not a fresh start, but it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. 
uh, you know, once you get through it and you heal, uh, you, you know, you're getting, you're getting a fresh start. It's almost like a, a, a little bit of, would you say a little bit of a, a worry relief? It's uh, a little bit of a reboot for sure. Cause you're not scared of what's to come. You know, what's happened. And now you just have your future to look forward to. Exactly. It's all about the future. You know, that reboot is, is just the fresh start and, and it's a motivating factor to here I go. Uh, this is what I want to do. And sometimes it takes a minute to figure out who you are and what you want to be. But as long as you have that fire, when you do figure it out, um, do I still have you? Yeah, you're good. Oh, there you go. Somebody was calling me during the middle of it. As long as you have that fire when you reboot and you really get the eye of the tiger, it's all about the eye of the tiger. You got to become obsessed, you know, whether it's, uh, tr you, you know, we, we talk about baseball and basketball for me. I hit my peak performance in, in, in those sports. Right now I'm hitting my peak performance in basketball because I'm dedicating what it takes uh, to jump higher. I'm dedicating what it takes to run faster. You know, these things don't happen unless you put forth the work and the effort, you know, uh, I jumped six inches higher this season than I did last season. And that's all due to work. It's due to getting in the gym, squatting, deadlifting, but you, you know, hard work pays off. That's, that's so right. We have, once we make the dreams, we have to know that there's work to get from point A to point B to point C to point T. We can't just sit back and, and hope that it's going to happen. It takes real dedication. Takes real dedication, but you'll notice with that dedication comes results and you'll notice with the results, you'll start, you'll feel it, man. You'll feel the magic. You'll, you'll just start every day. You'll, you'll be almost on this one track mind of motivation. You know, um, I think it's just firing that schedule up, getting on a schedule of, of, uh, you know, kicking some butts, you know, waking up, starting your day with water, you know, getting the, the food in you need to have your energy and then getting to work and putting it in. Yeah, I think that that stands strong, especially what we're going through now. I know uh, where we live is just kind of reopening, but to not to have a schedule makes everything run so much better. It puts you in a position to succeed, uh, whether you're in quarantine or whether your city's open like normal. The schedule is a, a big, big part of getting things done. It, it very much is. And you know what? This quarantine hasn't been easy for anyone mentally uh, or physically. You know, it's, 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 if, if anybody's feeling a little a little off, it shows you that you need human interaction, you need love, you need uh, other people, you know, you can't do this on your own. Uh, you, if, if, you know, we need people to talk to, we need people to, to hug, we need people to, uh, to, to share uh, our emotions with. So I think one of the things the quarantine does, it brought us farther away from everyone because we weren't able to see uh, the people we love the most, but, but it makes you realize how much you need people. 100%. Uh once you get to see those people again, it's, it's life changing almost at this point. Of course. You, that you didn't realize meant so much to you, but now you haven't seen your, your grandma or your mom or your dad in two months, three months. And it, it really impacts you. It does. Awesome. My friend. So is there anything else you'd like to share with us today before we, before we jump off of here? I just want to say, you know, thank you for having me uh, again, guys, hard work pays off um, and, and dream big because you know, uh, it's small for someone to tell you that you can't do something or you're not going to, be able to do something. That's the, the, the number one thing you hear your whole life. Uh, uh, people thought I was crazy almost my whole life. And then, and then now it's easy for them to flip the switch and say, yeah, well, I, I could see it happening. They never see it until you do it. So just remember that you, no one is going to say, uh, Oh, it's a done deal and, and, until you do the deal. So that's just, this is what I can say, you know, it, don't let anyone else uh, depict how your future goes. It's on you. It's through hard work. No one else's opinion is going to get you where you're going. Uh, putting that work in and having that strong mindset is going to get you where you're going. That's great, man. We appreciate it. Hey, Zeus, thanks for joining us. And if you haven't listened to him, check out Adelita's Way. Spotify. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Pr praying for you all. Thank you.